How do you succeed your first year in real estate? You definitely don't want to be one of those people that get their license and six months down the road you haven't had a closing yet, or maybe even a year down the road you've only had three or four closings. When I think of success your first year in real estate, I think of at least 15 closings your first year. I myself closed 44 houses my first year in real estate and I consider that pretty successful. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important things you should be doing immediately when you get your real estate license. Actually, I started doing this before I even passed the test. If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and real estate investor. I've had the honor of coaching hundreds of new real estate agents as they begin their journey, as they venture into their real estate career and start investing in real estate. If you are new to real estate and you're looking to be successful immediately, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. So let's get started. Now I know you know there's not just one thing for you to do in order to succeed in real estate. However, there are crucial things you should be doing right now that will generate tons of business for you. And I do mean immediately. Today we're talking about contacting your sphere. Now initially I call it your starting sphere and those are people that you know, but you're not quite sure if they're going to use you for real estate yet. So there'll be some qualifications that you'll have to go through with them, meaning you'll have to talk to them and qualify them as a five star sphere. Now I call it your five star sphere because if you do the things that I'm teaching you, this will become your database that will create five star reviews across the board now and as your real estate business grows. When it comes to calling your sphere, we're gonna break it down into four simple steps that you're going to do every single day. Number one, write down everyone that you know. Family, friends, anybody that you've touched base with, people in your past career, clubs that you go to, events that you've been to, friends of family members that you've seen at other events like weddings or baby showers, and even people at your gym. To make it easy, I've included a database spreadsheet that I created when I first started in real estate and I share with my team members now. You will continue to add to this spreadsheet in the weeks to come. Now, at first, you're probably only gonna think of about 25 to 50 people, but I guarantee if you dig deeper, you will find more. I have found that most people know at least 250 to 500 people. Now, once you get this list started, you're gonna have to practice communicating with them. I would suggest that you find one, two, or three of your favorite buddies and go ahead and practice with them. Let them know, like, hey, I'm gonna start calling friends and family, letting them know that I'm in real estate. Will you practice with me so I can get really good at this script? Because I'm gonna be calling a lot of people. Now I'm gonna give you some scripts at the end of this video, and I have to admit, I have never been someone that stays on script. I will practice them, I will read them, and I, I kind of see them as bullet points in my mind, and then I just go at it. Now, I am the kind of person that likes to talk to people, and so I feel like I might not come off as professional or well scripted, but I am able to go with the flow. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. So the third thing you're actually gonna do is make the calls and start recording their responses. I'm gonna give you a few things that you're looking for here in just a moment. The fourth thing that you're going to do is actually follow up. This is where a good contact management system is gonna come in handy. Most of the time, the brokerages that you hang your license with will give you a CRM or database management system. So you'll wanna learn how to at least enter your contact and assign yourself tasks to follow up with them. What I mean by this is once you make that initial contact and you identify this person as somebody that wants to do business with you, the gold is in the follow-up. You're gonna have to keep touching this person over and over again so that they don't forget about you and they do come to you when they're ready to do business in real estate. Database script call take one. Click, right. Hey friend, long time no talk. So I'm so sad that we have not gotten to catch up this year. I mean, the kids, it's been so busy. I know that you've been busy. We need to do that soon. Hey girl. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that school started. For sure, we need to get some drinks. Yeah, girl, let's do it. Do you have next Friday at like four? Do you have somebody to watch the kids? 
Friday girl, I will make somebody watch my kids and I will be there. It's a date. So listen, I have something that I want to ask you. I have been immersed in this new real estate business I started and I've been mastering how to help my friends buy and sell property and even invest in real estate. And I have a question. Who's your go-to real estate expert that you call? Time out. You're going to get three responses here. I'm going to go over what you're going to say for two responses. The third response is going to be a little Oh girl, now that you think about it, I actually have used, oh, what's her name? What's her name? I mean, man, I called her and I sold a house. Gosh, I, I forget what her name is. This is the best response ever. <laughs> no girl, you don't even have to remember her name because now I'm your go-to real estate expert. Now this response is even better than the best. Heck yeah, girl, what you got for me? Well, real quick, where do you live now? Do, do, do. They give me the address. Oh, that's awesome. How long have you lived there for? Give me the time frame. So all of this you're writing down, by the way. Last real estate question for the day is going to be this. Hey, really quick, if you were to move, where would you move to? Now this is where they're gonna tell you they want a bigger house, or they're gonna tell you they wanna move out, or they're gonna tell you they don't want anything. They might tell you that they want a house with a pool, or that it, they want a better neighborhood. You're writing all of this down, and I would not, I don't know why I'm holding my phone, I would not go any further with the conversation other than telling them, so awesome talking to them. Thank you so much for taking your call. You're so excited to connect with them on Friday. One last thing, okay? Hey, really quick, do you know anybody that I should call right now that may be needing to sell their house or buy a house or, or maybe even invest in real estate? That should be the end of every single one of your conversations, every single one of them. Hey, by the way, do you know anybody that's looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate or whatever your niche is? And that way you're getting referrals, you're getting used to getting referrals. Now, let's go over the last response typically the response that you do not want to hear, but it's okay because you can't sell real estate to everybody. Oh girl, I absolutely love Michelle. She is so awesome. Girl, I have used her for everything. Every time I call her, she picks up the phone. Um, she's just absolutely amazing. Oh, that is amazing. Actually, can I have her name and number? I would love to pick her brain on how she got clients like you that absolutely love her because I totally want to do the same thing. Now, my response for that one is absolutely what I did when I first got into real estate. Do not minimize the value of other really good agents. You can learn a lot from people that have established a good business and they have a good reputation. I hope you got something out of this video. I know I mentioned some things you may not have as much information on as you'd like to continue in your business today. And if so, my contact information is in the description. Please reach out. I would be happy to go over these things with you. I mentioned CRM. That is something that is definitely going to benefit your business. And if you don't know what that is or how to use one, go ahead and leave me a comment or contact me. I would love to share some insight with you. Be sure to subscribe and share this video. And for the best in real estate tips, marketing, and real estate investing, see more of our videos. See you next time. <laughs> Which one would sell more real estate? This one or this one? I don't know, Scar. This one. I'm ready. I'm ready to sell your house for you. <laughs>